Action. Action. Are we recording? Yep. Yeah. Sure, it's gone to the red thing. Yeah, it's got to see record. Okay, okay, so kids, check this out. So centre of mass, you guys might have run across the concept in PE, because it's a concept that you use a little bit when you're trying to analyse your movement. Centre of gravity is like a synonym for it. It's the point at which gravity is seen to act, or any of those kind of non-contact forces is seen to act. The centre of mass of a body doesn't necessarily have to be inside that body. So if we think about like the centre of mass of the stool, it's going to be kind of like, it's a bit more weight at the top than there is at the bottom. Um, and so the centre of mass is going to be somewhere between the legs, kind of closer to the piece that you sit on than it is to the ground. So the centre of mass doesn't have to be inside an object. And the really useful thing about centre of mass at the time you can apply it in everyday life is when you're thinking about base of support. So as long as the centre of mass is inside the base of support, something isn't going to fall over. But as soon as you tip something far enough that that centre of mass is outside of the base of support, that's kind of like the criteria for tipping over. So probably the most useful thing, centre of mass of just one object, is that centre of mass base of support idea. How we're going to use it, um, the idea this year in physics is we're going to go for like multiple body systems. How can we find the centre of mass of like a system of bodies? And so you could do like you and someone sitting a couple of metres away from you and work out where the centre of mass is between you. But more often we use it in like space and work out where's the centre of mass of like a couple of um, planets and they're going to kind of orbit around that combined centre of mass. And so how do we work out the centre of mass? There's an equation x centre of mass. So distance to the centre of mass is mass 1 times the distance from whatever point you've chosen to that first mass plus mass 2 times the distance from whatever point you've chosen to the second mass and you can go on as many different masses as you want over the total mass. So you're kind of averaging um, the distance to mass is kind of what you're doing. A really nice thing to do when you're using this equation is to make the point that you're calculating all of your distances from one of like the points you're trying to find. Like you could choose some arbitrary point miles away from the system you're calculating on, but it makes sense to choose the centre of mass in one of your bodies as the point you're starting from. It's going to make more sense if we do an example. Find the centre of mass of the Earth-Moon system. So we've got the Earth, 5.98 times 10.24 kilograms, and a radius of about 6,400 kilometres. Then there's the Moon, 7.34 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms, and about um, just under 2,000 kilometres radius. If we're trying to find the centre of mass of the Earth-Moon system, it's going to make sense to make all of our measurements like from the centre of the Earth, like choose that as our arbitrary point, our zero point, and measure all of our distances from there. We'll see in a second why that's going to make it simpler. We're expecting the answer to put our centre of mass closer to the Earth than it is to the Moon, because the Earth has got more mass than what the moon's got. That's like a test for is it sensible. And so this is where that simplification comes in. If we do x to centre of mass, our mass of the earth, if we do that as our first mass, that's the 5.98 times 10 to the 24. But the distance from the centre of the earth to the centre of the earth, how far is that? Probably like four. Um, plus the mass of the moon, which is the 7.22 times 1022 times the distance to the moon, which is a long way, times a thousand because we want to have it in metres. And so when we come to do our maths, that first part of the equation just disappears. And our total mass.
mass is just the sum of the two masses. And so x to the centre of mass is going to work out as... Make sure that you're using the EXP button on your calculator. So 7.34, push the EXP button, 22. If you're still in the habit of going 7.34 times 10 little um, power thing, 22, stop doing that. Like now it's too late. You have to stop doing that now because it's going to start giving you really bad answers. Or um, around about 4700 kilometers. What's the significance of that answer? Where is that? Within the Earth. It's within the Earth. That's the kind of weird and unexpected result. It's about like 4 out of 6. It's approximately 2 thirds of the way to the center of the Earth. And so interestingly, the centre of mass of the Earth-Moon system is actually inside the Earth, it's somewhere over there. The Moon is so small in mass compared to the Earth that um, it doesn't even drag the centre of mass of the system to outside of the first body. Cool and interesting result. Does that make sense to everyone now? Kind of?